Chemistry is all around us. Everything around us that takes up space and has mass is considered matter. But are there different types of matter? Let's take my lunch, for instance. My hot dog's wrapped in aluminum foil. Aluminum is an element that's made up of only one type of atom, the aluminum atoms. With my hot dog, I've also got some french fries. On my french fries, I like to put table salt. Table salt is made up of sodium and chlorine atoms that are chemically combined together. My water is a compound also. It's made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms chemically combined together. The thing with elements and compounds is that they're always made up of a fixed proportion or a fixed composition. My table salt, no matter where I get it from, is always one sodium atom, one chlorine atom put together. My water, no matter the source, be it from the tap or from my refrigerator, or even from the river, is always H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Some other things are made up of different things, but the composition can change. Take my dessert, for instance. This blizzard, all right, peanut butter cup blizzard, all right, has vanilla ice cream, but then it has chunks of peanut butter cups in it. I can see the individual parts, and depending on who's making the blizzard that day or what my specifications were, I asked for extra peanut butter cups today. Uh, the composition can change, but we still call it a blizzard. This is a mixture that you can see the different parts of. There are other mixtures where you can't tell the difference between their parts. Take air, for instance. The air we're breathing right now is made up of primarily nitrogen and oxygen, both colorless gases. So when we look around, we can't see the nitrogens here and the oxygens there, but it all appears uniform throughout. And we, have, we call those homogeneous uh, mixtures, whereas the blizzard would be referred to as a heterogeneous, heterogeneous mixture. So when you look around, you realize everything around you it involves chemistry, and based on what it's made up of, will determine what kind of material it is. So hopefully you've learned a little bit here, and if you don't mind, i got to eat my lunch and get back to class. All right? Thanks for watching. Mmm, mmm, good stuff.